You're gonna eat right up to the green part. Classic girl lunch. I'm Edward Bowen. Like, I'm <laughs> so old. I just got a new package in from Brooklinen. In the movie, it looked like so much bigger. Like so I'm starting off today's vlog with a little brunch with Carrie. I'm so excited. We're going to one of our favorite restaurants here. We've been here a couple times. It's called Porzana. We've gone there for dinner, but we've never tried brunch. So I'm really excited. I am going to go pick her up now. We're gonna do brunch and maybe a little shopping. So I thought it would be perfect to start the vlog here because I have a bunch of random clips from this month that I'm gonna put in the vlog. They're all super fun, but I thought I would start the vlog with just a little bit of an intro and take you guys to brunch. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing because I really like it. It's a very hot day today, so I thought this was gonna be perfect. And I just got this dress and I really, really like it. It looks like this. Theo's gonna have a little morning with daddy while I have some much needed girl time. Right, baby? Yes. Everybody's favorite. Over. Yeah, you look beautiful. We're at brunch. We're at brunch. Look at my drink. Wait, so honey. cool. Do you want me to pour it for you? I think there's some already in it. He said oh, when it was. Just to fill it up. Yeah. It's a frozen orange. It's like a spritz. Very cute. And it comes in this like little coconut looking thing. And then she got a mimosa. Yeah, I just like needed like a little like, you know, just trash. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie's hungover. Yeah, because I don't know what I did last night. Wine. This is the thing. This is where it really is. is our, I think our tolerance has both changed. Yeah. We obviously used to go out way more, and I also like didn't drink for the last two weeks because I was sick and I was on antibiotics. And like, even though I'm not like a heavy drinker beyond that, it was just kind of like, wow, I think my tolerance really changed. Yeah, we're also like 35 years old. I'm 109. <laughs> I'm, I'm Edward Cullen. Like, I'm so old, and so. The two glasses of wine before, and then like the one gimlet Patrick made me, I was like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'm just not doing well. Also, our driver on the way here, like, really. <laughs> he was whipping. He was whipping. <laughs> yeah. Cheers! Our food just got mm -hmm. here. It looks so good. We got a donut, yeah. which that I think has amazing. like a filling. It's it like does. an espresso cream on top, which looks really good. We got the eggs benedict, classic. Looks really, really tasty. Oh, and then this is like kind of a hash. Like an egg hash, yeah. An egg hash with, with like lobster. Wait, not is it lobster? A crab, crab, crab. And pancetta. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I got Carrie's reaction to when it came out. Put your hands. Put your... <laughs> it's so big. It's huge. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we just left brunch and we had an emergency. We lost an earring back. <laughs> My earring back. So I, this was a little um, DIY for you ladies or men. I asked the hostess for a band-aid because I think I'm going to just take a piece of it and like tape around the post. Okay. Teamwork, dream work. Makes the dream work. All right, band-aid. Oh, no, it just slid right off the back. It slid right off the back. Like it doesn't... <laughs> it didn't it stick? Didn't, it didn't grip at all. It didn't stick onto the post. No, it didn't <laughs> stick on the post. Hold on, let me... Wait a minute. Is that the last of the band-aid? <laughs> There's no more band-aid? There's no more band-aid left? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I have this much of the band-aid Wait, is that, is that the, the soft I think part? it's the soft part. <laughs> I don't think it's the sticky part. Oh my god, this... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Not uh, the breast cancer pen. This will oh work. My, oh my god. This, this has wait. to work. No, it won't. Yes, it will! <laughs> it's gotta work. No. Hold on. Does it even go through? Nothing worked. Now I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Just one pirate earring. <laughs> we will update you when we figure out the earring I think I, that's a lot. You, we didn't have you on, but I said I think I just buy more earrings. Just go we, buy new earrings. Now all of a sudden we're going to go shopping, so great. <laughs> Okay, but is this not getting Hill House? 
I just got a new package in from Brooklinen. You guys know that we just moved into our new apartment and for me that always means getting new sheets. It's such a game changer and decorating your apartment, having a nice clean space is just the ultimate form of self-care. So I absolutely love it. We have been such a fan of Brooklyn Inn for years now. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring this part of the video. In our last apartment when we first moved in, we got new Brooklyn Inn sheets and now we got a new one and I picked out a new colorway this time. I always go for white, but I decided to get cream. So I'm very excited about that. If you're unaware of what Brooklyn Inn is, it's a luxury sheets company. Personally, I think it's important to invest in good quality bed sheets because you spend a good portion of your life in your bed so i just find it to be super important for comfort self-care all of that the ones that i picked out are the Lux hardcore sheet bundle comes with pillowcases a sheet set and a duvet cover what i love about the Lux bundle is that it is so smooth and soft already it's truly just like the butteriest sheets but then as you wash them, they get softer. They're also great for year round comfort. You guys know we just relocated to Minnesota. So we've got all the seasons here. So for winter, summer, spring, fall, these sheets are gonna be really great for all of the above. Obviously you can't feel it through the screen, but I wish you could because it's truly so, so soft. I'm gonna wash these and make my bed and share it with you once it's done. obviously already slept on the sheets and I have slept on various different Brooklyn and sheets for years it's incredible so I will have a link in the description box below if you guys want to go check out Brooklyn and they have a ton of different options and different colorways the link will get you 15% off your first order <laughs> We came strawberry picking. We've never done this before, so this is very exciting. Find a good one, like find a big, nice red one. I thought it was a big one. Let's see it. Let me see, show. <gasps> That's a really good one, Theo. Look at all the strawberries we got. <laughs> mm, yummy. They look so good, huh? Tractors on the way. <gasps> really juicy, aren't they? <sighs> Those are really tasty. Well, it, you're gonna eat right up to the green part. You can eat all, all of it. Mm mm mm. mm, -mm. Keep eating it. Look at, show the camera. Look at how red and juicy they are. Ready? Cheers. Strawberry cheers. Mm. <laughs> eat it, eat it. We just left the strawberry farm and now we stopped at a pub for lunch. What cut what did you get for food? Uh, grilled cheese. Uh, we are in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I got a buffalo chicken wrap and Patrick. A Cubano. <laughs> We're in San Francisco. I am here for work with Delta and Amex. So we are in San Francisco for the first time in like years. The last time I was here, you guys saw because I vlogged it with Patrick, but it's been a long time. So we got here yesterday, or we got here two days ago. Yesterday was our first full day. As you can see, I'm with Julia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just did fun stuff yesterday. We went to the Painted Ladies. We went to the what was it the botanic gardens mm -hmm. the rose garden the rose Japanese garden tea garden yeah we did a lot of gardens we saw the windmills we got some good fish tacos mm -hmm. uh, and it was a really good time so i wasn't originally gonna vlog but i thought i would vlog today because we have fun stuff going on and i figured why not just girly things just girly things which means we're having a little princess diaries day we're gonna go check out the school which is actually a house but 
that's the first thing on our agenda today. So I will take you along with what we get up to. We made it to the school slash somebody's house, house which is crazy. <laughs> there she is, here. Julie and I were saying that in the movie it looked like so much bigger like, like all the students like on the huge. stairs and like on the top it looks so much bigger yeah. in the movie but actually in person it's a huge house but a small school <laughs> we're just leaving the palace of fine arts which was stunning. So now we're waiting for an Uber and we're gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna go to Skoma's, which I think is kind of touristy, so we'll see if it's good. But we really wanna just like a little Aperol spritz, a little seafood appetizer on the water. It's gonna be delicious. So that's the plan. We ordered the classic girl lunch. <laughs> Truffle fries, Caesar salad, oysters, Aperol spritz. Perfect. We left the Fisherman's Wharf and we came to Dolores Park. We got some delicious ice cream, which we 10 out of 10 recommend. Both Julie and I got the same thing. Vanilla ice cream, blood orange, olive oil with sea salt. Delicious. 